There's going to be a general lack of toast in this neighborhood this morning. Many, many bewildered, unhappy breakfast faces. I guess it's best to not even think of the victims, not to even entertain it. Is that the right psychology? What? Is that the right criminal psychology, not to think of the victims? What victims? The victims of crime. Of breaking and entering. I mean, is it a prerequisite for a criminal not to have a conscience? Ask a criminal. What are you going to do with all those toasters? That's the dumbest thing I ever saw in my life. Well, I've got hundreds of dollars worth of household appliances right here. You may not realize that. Yeah? And how many hundreds of dollars did you walk right past? It was only toasters you challenged me to. Only toasters. I ignored every other temptation. I never challenged you! That's no challenge! Anybody can steal a toaster! You don't have to take it out on the machine, you know. It's not the machine's fault that you can't write. That's a sin to do that to a good machine. A sin? When you consider all the writers who never even had a machine, who would have given an eyeball for a good typewriter, any typewriter. All the ones who wrote on matchbook covers, paper bags, toilet paper, who had their writing destroyed by their jailers, who persisted beyond all odds. Those writers would find it hard to understand your actions. Not to mention demolishing a perfectly good golf club. What about all those struggling golfers? What about Lee Trevino? What do you think he would have said when he was batting balls around with broomsticks at the age of nine impoverished? What time is it anyways? No idea. Time stands still when you're having fun. Is it too late to call a woman? You know any women? I'm a married man. I mean a local woman. Uh, it's either too late or too early. You're the nature enthusiast. Can you tell me the time by the fight in the sky? Orient yourself to the North Star or something? Uh, I can't tell anything. Maybe you need a little breakfast. How about some toast? I don't need toast. I need a woman. Alright. Mm. A woman isn't the answer. Never was. I'm not talking about permanent. I'm talking about temporary. We'll just test the merits of these little demons. See which one of these has the breads, has a tendency to burn. See which one can produce a perfectly golden piece of fluffy toast. How much gas you got in your car? I haven't driven my car for days now. So I haven't had the opportunity to look at the gas gauge. Take a guess. You think there's enough to get me to Bakersfield? Bakersfield? What's in Bakersfield? Just never mind what's in Bakersfield. You think there's enough goddamn gas in the car? Sure. Sure. You could care less, right? Let me run out of gas on the grapevine. You could give a shit. I'd say there was enough gas to get you anywhere, Lee, with your determination and guts. What the hell time is it anyway? Uh, very early. This is the time of the morning when the coyotes kill people's cocker spaniels. You know? Do you hear them? That's what they're doing out there, luring innocent pets away from their homes. What's the area code for Bakersfield, you know? You could always call the operator. I can't stand that voice they give you. What voice? That voice that warns you that if you'd only tried harder to find the number in the phone book, you wouldn't have to be calling the operator to begin with. Well, I don't understand why you'd want to talk to anybody else anyway. I mean, you could talk to me. I'm your brother. I want to talk to a woman. I haven't heard a woman's voice in a long time. Not since the podcast. What? Nothing. Red sails in the sunset, way out on the blue. Please carry my loved one home safely to me. Hey, hey, knock it off, will ya? This is long distance here. Bakersfield? Yeah, Bakersfield. It's Kern County. Well, what county are we in? You better get off yourself, a 7-up seven, a seven boy. One county's as good as another.
<laughs> yeah, operator, look. First up, I want to know the area code for Bakersfield. Right. Bakersfield. Okay. Good. Now, I want to know if you can help me track somebody down. No, no, I mean a phone number. Just a phone number, okay? Okay, the name is Melly Ferguson. Melly. I don't know. Melly, maybe, yeah. Maybe Melanie. Yeah, Melanie Ferguson. Okay? What? I can't hear you so good. Sounds like you're under the ocean. You got ten Melanie Fergusons? How could that be? Ten Melanie Fergusons in Bakersfield. Well, give me all of them, then. What do you mean? Give me all ten Melanie Fergusons. That's right. Just a second. G give me a pen. I don't have a pen. Give me a pencil, then. I don't have a pencil. Just a second, operator. You're a writer, and you don't have a pen or a pencil? I'm not the writer. You're the writer. I'm on the phone here. Get me a pen or a pencil. You gotta watch the toast. Hang on a second, operator. This is the last time I try to live with people. Boy, I can't believe it. Here I am. Here I am again in a desperate situation. This would never happen out on the desert. I would never be in this kind of situation out on the desert. Isn't there a pen or pencil in this house? Who lives in this house anyways? Our mother. How come she don't have a pen or a pencil? She's a social person, isn't she? Doesn't she have to make shopping lists? She's got to have a pencil. Aha! All right, operator. Operator. Hey, operator. God damn it. She hung up? Yeah, she hung up. I knew she was going to hang up. I could hear it in her voice. Well, you're probably better off staying here with me. I'll take care of you. I don't need taken care of. Not by you, anyway. The toast is almost ready. I don't want any toast. You gotta eat something, can't just drink. How long have we been drinking, anyway? Maybe it was Fresno. What's the area code for Fresno? How could I have lost that number? She was beautiful. Uh, why don't you just forget about that, Lee? Forget about the woman. She had green eyes. You know what green eyes do to me? I know, but you're not going get to get it on with her anyway. It's dawn already. She's in Bakersfield, for Christ's sake. Yeah. It's dawn? Let's just have some toast. And, uh... What is this bullshit with the toast, anyways? You make it sound like salvation or something. I don't want any goddamn toast. How many times I gotta tell ya? It's like a salvation, sort of. I mean, the smell. I, I love the smell of toast. And, and the sun's coming up. It's making me feel like anything's possible, you know? So go to church, why don't you? Like a beginning. I love beginnings. Oh, yeah? I've always been kind of partial to endings myself. What if I could come with you, Lee? What? What if I come with you out to the desert? Are you kidding? No, I'd just like to see what it's like. You wouldn't last a day out there, pal. That's what you said about the toasters. You said I couldn't steal a toaster either. A toaster's got nothing to do with the desert! I could make it, Lee. I'm not helpless. I can cook. Cook? I can. So what? You can cook. Toast? I can make fires. I know how to get fresh water from condensation. It's not something you learn out of a Boy Scout handbook. Well, how do you learn it then? How are you supposed to learn it? You just learn it. 
That's all. You learn it because you have to learn it. You don't have to learn it. You could teach me. Where are you? Crazy or something? You went to college. Here you are down here, running in bucks, floating up and down in elevators, and you want to learn how to live on the desert? I, I, I do, Lee. I really do. There's nothing down here for me. There never was. When we were kids, it was different. There was a life here then, but now... I keep coming down here thinking it's the 50s or something. I keep finding myself getting off the freeway at familiar landmarks that turn out to be unfamiliar. On the way to appointments. Wandering down streets I thought I recognized that turn out to be replicas of streets, streets I remember. Streets I misremember. Streets I can't tell if I lived on or saw it in a postcard. Fields that don't exist anymore. There's no point in crying about that now. There's nothing real down here, Lee. Least of all me. Well, I can't save you from that. You could let me come with you. No dice, pal. You could let me come with you, Lee. Hey, do you actually think I chose to live out in the middle of nowhere? Do you? You think it's some kind of philosophical decision I took or something? I'm living out there because I can't make it here. And you're bitching to me about all your success. I, I, I'd cash it all in. In, in, a, in a second, that's the truth. I can't believe this. Let me go with you. Stop saying that, will ya? You're worse than a dog. Here, you want some toast? <sighs> no, my toast. Tell her what I'll do, little brother. I might just consider making you a deal. A little trade. You write me up this screenplay, then. Just like I tell you. I mean, you can use all your usual tricks and stuff. Your fancy language, your artistic hocus pocus. But you gotta write everything like I say. Every move. Every time they run out of gas, they run out of gas. Every time they wanna jump on a horse, they do just that. And if they want to stay in Texas, by God, they'll stay in Texas. And you finish the whole thing up for me, top to bottom. And you put my name on it. And I own all the rights. And every dime goes in my pocket. You do that, and I'll sure enough take you with me to the desert. How's that sound?